Hi. Usually the judge slaps her in the face, I mean the wrist, puts her in her house arrest, and sends her back home to her husband and children. I guess they figure that's enough punishment, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, they don't do that. They put your loony bed, toss the tree away, forget about you girls. And Lord, if we all smile in here, oh, y'all must have done something very, very naughty. But don't you fret. We're all about making sure the girls here feel like they're right at home. For example, ladies, 12 to 16 hours out of your day, you will find yourself cooking and cleaning. Mm. Just like home, huh? Mm. Yes. <laughs> and after a long, hard day at work, y'all get to come back here. Oh yeah, come back to yourselves to lay down on those luxurious mattresses. And there's stuff nothing but the finer straw and the Spanish moss we have to offer. So ladies, please don't mind the little red shakers and spiders and mites and ticks that live in the Spanish moss. Keep in mind, that was at home first. Right? Right. That's right. <laughs> now I'm sure you notice that bug on the floor. And I'm sure y'all already know what it's for. What's it for, ladies? Right. Uh, I knew this was a gift for you. <laughs> That's right. This is a plumbing free facility and that bucket is your toilet. And I know what you're thinking. Ew. A small bucket like that. It's going to look rather quick. What the? That is when y'all need to make sure not to kick the bucket. <laughs> yes, once a week it definitely comes around and empties your bucket for you. Ew. Once a week. Ew. Now ladies, y'all didn't notice how there's a cell with a window, right? If you have a nice cell, lucky you. Because you don't have to wait. No, just take that bucket and chuck it right out the window. But I reckon y'all stick your hand out the window first. It's always nice to know which way the wind is blowing, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the last thing you need is to be covered in your own backsplash, right? It's not just yours. It's hers and hers and hers and hers and hers and hers. And hers, and hers, and hers. <laughs> <laughs> now, boys, we won't be spending as much time in jail like the girls here. Lucky us, right? Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> That's right. You see, we're working chain gangs. We're digging ditches, building roads. We'll be chained up to 20 other inmates by our very ankles exposed to our Florida sun as we dredge some Florida swamps. You'll be getting hot, sweaty, dirty, and stinky. Just how we are now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and after a long, hard day at work, we get to come back here to take a bath. Once a month. Just like now, huh? <laughs> now, folks, the only difference is once a month they take a large tub and they fill it up with soap and water. And all 72 to 110 of the male inmates in here will take turns, one after another, in the same tub, in the same water. Yeah, they hate to spend money on the inmates, and I hate to be 72, especially 110. This moment's like in water anymore. It's this black and brown and green slimy swampy thing that breathes and makes all these funny noises. And ladies, y'all want to know what the best part is? Y'all get to go the next day in the same tub, in the same water. Oh. Ew! Whatever happened to ladies first? <laughs> <laughs> Not today! Tell them, boys, tell them. <laughs> Y'all sound like you're scared. <laughs> now, the boys in here, they'll get to go outside. Oh, no, no. They'll get to go outside unless there's a public hanging. Not just theirs, anyone's. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, they force them to watch. Front row seats make them think of what they did to them in here. Murderers, horse thieves, bank robbers, your most violent offenders well, reside here in maximum security. Now in the cells, you notice there's four bucks. That doesn't mean there's only four inmates. You see, we don't believe in maximum capacity. In other words, if it fits, it sits. And as long as that gate closes, they will keep coming. And now folks, picture all of us sharing one cell. Sharing oh one goodness. bucket. Yeah. Now imagine 10, 15, 20, 25 perhaps. Now we're here, my home away from home. Solitary confinement. If the bird caves don't straighten you out, <laughs> this your place will turn into a model citizen. Because once the store closes, you won't be able to see your hand in front of your face. And here you get no company other than rats and spiders. And the occasional rival snake. Yeah, or convinced that deputies like to play games on the inmates. And there you get no window, obviously. You get no bunk, no pillow, no mattress, no blanket, no bucket. You know what that means, right, mister? On the very first day, you're going to quickly find out which way the floor runs down and where you won't be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs>
package their gunpowder, especially on ships. They didn't want a bunch of powder floating up in the air to explode. So canvas bags. They knew how much was in here, how much power it had to it, and you could quickly measure what, how many bags you needed to put down. Once it got to the back, they could take a sharp pick and open the bag up through that vent hole, and it was ready to explode. They light it with a butterfuego, which means fire stick. Deliver naming, right? Gives you a little distance from the explosion, and they light it with something called match cord. This is cotton rope. It's soaked in a chemical called saltpeter, which is one of three ingredients of gunpowder itself. But when this dries, it burns very slowly. A little red ember as opposed to an open flame. A lot safer to work around gunpowder, right? This is not a spear, but it is a defensive weapon. Let's say you're overrun by an opposing force. They can turn these cannons around and shoot at you as you are retreating. So you spike the cannon using this, stick it down in, break it off. It takes them a while to get that piece of metal out. In the meantime, you can skid out. Make sense? All right, I'm gonna load this up with a couple ounces of gunpowder. It'll be plenty of interestingness. Then we're gonna see if we can get it to work. It's been very finicky, it's kind of damp today, but we're gonna make it work. Our bosses do not give us cannonballs because they're incredibly smart. I know we'd have to try it, right? It also makes the neighbors nervous, so we try not to make them nervous. I'm not using a fuse, I'm actually using a little donut of gunpowder, just like they would have done. It gets the ignition, goes down through the vent hole, and lights everything in the barrel. All right, baby, let's give it a try. So paranormal Game investigation which pretty much means that we're gonna try and find ghosts, talk to them, spirits, and if you don't believe in them, well, you'll probably see some pictures. This will be interesting. Let's yeah. go. Do you like it here? This is top forward, not into that. Huh? Top forward to the room. Does anyone like it here? Is there anyone still here in this jail? Can you tell me your name? Oh, I got one. Mm -hmm. Here. Did you say your name was Bowser? Huh? 
How long have you been here? Are you ready to go home? Where is this radio? Hey, Sarah, do you miss your family? Hey, Sarah, does it, does it bother you we're here right now? I heard her to know. <laughs> But again, I don't know. What did you think you did? Hey, Sarah. What year is it? Y'all oh. want to see my walking through? You want to walking through? You can hang out. I just heard a 2020. You heard 2000? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Y'all carry on. Ask if they want us out. in this room. You say he wants us out? Can I lay in your bed? Could I stay the night in your room? Give a second. I think they're done. Is there a spirit in this room? Is there anyone? No, no, don't say spirit. Just say anyone because they're not going to know. Is somebody in this room? That looks so hot when that was sitting. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.